Hello again, Dan back with you for another episode of um, Dan Living Underground. This is going to be a bit of a, uh, a catch-up uh, episode. Um, I've been playing quite a fair bit uh, off-camera the last few weeks, so uh, time to... In fact, I've not really played this game at all the last couple of weeks because I've been waiting for... Um, you know, the week 7 snapshot wasn't really that brilliant, and... Um, the week 8 one's just come out and uh, what with 1.2 being around the corner I've been kind of waiting a little bit for new uh, updates in that. So, But what I have been doing is is going through this uh, abandoned mine shaft and uh, clearing it all out. Uh, I've been uh, obviously mining all the, uh, all, all the wood that's down there, finding a fair bit of uh, ores and whatnot. Uh, putting down a lot of these uh, uh, little marker things so I can find my way back home again. Those, yes. Um, still not 100% clear because I can still hear, as you can hear there, uh, there's still the occasional zombie and thing around. Um, not 100% sure where they're coming from, but it uh, looks like there might be a little dark area down there that I've not explored yet, but on the whole, on the whole the area is kind of safe enough uh, for me to explore, and I have done quite a bit of exploring down here. It wasn't all that interesting, though, as I say, there was a, you know, the usual um, the occasional mob, um, just gathering, cutting down a lot of cobwebs, and just generally mining and clearing and just gathering resources for the sake of gathering resources. So let's head back. Uh, heading off down in this direction, I found, um, I'll show you what I found in a second. That goes all the way up to the surface. And as you can see, there's some sand up there. Um, what I found down here was, I don't know if I can get it down to the floor level down there, but I found basically a large ravine which I spent quite a while uh, exploring and lighting up um, and again trying to make that area safe in fact I think I can get down there I know I certainly sort of wandered back up here and, and, and got back out through that uh, through that little uh, cobblestone or whatever, so let's, uh, yeah. It goes off in all directions, this thing. But basically, I've uh, been able to make it all fairly safe. Copious amount of torches. I'm trying to remember now how I uh, how I got back out of there, but I do believe it was just sort of a case of going up here and then just jumping up and jumping across, and probably something like that. I never really. This is probably a prime example of um, functionality over form. Uh, in that I'll probably put up with. You know, do do whatever I can just to just to get from A to B, and not really bother too much about how how nice it looks or whether it's actually looking really good at all. I just want to be able to get from A to B. 
So I think this just brings us out to the cave floor down uh, from a slightly different angle. So quite a few um, caves and openings and whatever, quite a large area to explore that was. And I can never quite remember the way back because that takes me back to the ravine. That's it, it's up there, yes. So one thing I did was um, just pick a random place and then dig straight up. Uh, straight up to the surface, see what we could find. And what I did find, when I get there, No, 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 that's the wrong level. Go up, go up a bit more. What I did find when I got there was a desert, or a beach, or... No, I think it was a desert. So basically, lots and lots and lots and lots of sand. So I was able to dig out a lot of this sand. I was planning on making quite a big uh, glass roof up there and then excavating the whole area down to uh, the base at the bottom. Um, didn't quite get all the way down to the bottom but um, you know got a fair fair old uh, fair old hole in the ground there so yeah what I was doing was sort of digging out some of the sandstone and some of the, uh, the stone putting a torch down and then when you dig out the block above uh, the block below all the sand the sand just falls down on the torch and um, you can just pick up all the blocks then so this is where uh, it linked in to the original mine shaft. As I was digging down, I uh, I heard some spiders. Explored a little bit, found um, cave spider dungeon, and discovered that it linked up with the mine shaft that I'd already uh, explored. So this gave me another area, um, another starting point really to uh, explore the mine shaft. So I was able to sort of dig a fair bit out and uh, was able to get uh, some daylight all the way down to the bottom here. And down here is my uh, mine which I'm building just at uh, the top of bedrock level. There's some bedrock just to prove it to you. So although there is, uh, you, you do get the sort of bedrock void fog um, at this level, I've never found it to be a real big problem. Uh, quite a lot of diamond down here. If you dig out enough at this sort of level, um, you do find quite a few diamonds, I've discovered. Uh, one thing I did discover as well, um, heading off in this direction, at the end of one of these tunnels. And this just gives you an idea of how far I do mine. At the end of one of these tunnels I started hearing some zombies, so I dug around for a little bit and discovered a zombie dungeon. There we go. Another useful source of XP. So this is the sort of length of uh, mineshaft tunnel that I do like to dig. And for some reason I like to make them all um, sort of uniform length. So I'll, I'll dig a sort of random length down down one tunnel and then, um, you know, turn, turn left and dig five or six blocks and then dig another tunnel back to where I started out from. So uh, as you can see, I've got quite a few fences and a lot of wood and... Yeah, melon seeds from the uh, mine shaft. Lots and lots of sand and gravel from the top. 
Um, quite a few goodies down here. 39 diamonds. Um, yeah, I found a few slimes. Saw, um, yeah, one or two endermen down there. So let's get some of this um, treasure uh, together and we'll take it back to um, the overworld. And we'll start sort of seeing where we're up to in terms of uh, riches. As you can see here, I've built a little minecart track from one portal to the next. I mean, this is about as advanced as I get with minecart tracks, you know, button at each end, a few uh, powered minecart rails in the middle, and I just get a track that takes me from A to B. I've never really, I've never actually built myself a proper minecart station with switchable tracks. If I want to go... Um, you know, if if I'd built a, another portal, I might I might have a little sort of way station um, where I'd, I'd sort of turn off into a corner and then flick a switch to decide whether I want to go left or right. Uh, I put some paintings on the wall here, as you can see, lots and lots of string gathered from the uh, um, from the abandoned mine shaft. So I made some of it into wool and then made some paintings. So. Getting quite a few diamonds already up there. So let's do a bit of filing. And then we'll see where we're up to. So uh, three ender pearls, sort of 170 or so uh, slime balls. everything out into the same chest while I've got it open. I'm always sort of going back from one chest back to another chest, back to the first one again, and forwards and backwards and up and down. And I should be a bit more organised. That one's full of cobblestone, that one's half full of cobblestone. I think the one in the nether is full of cobblestone as well, so... I was talking to my son and I was telling him how far I got with this world and he said basically, and I, was, I was saying whether I was thinking about whether to leave this world or whether to carry on with it and he said basically, well can you make three diamond blocks? If you can make three diamond blocks then leave it, you know, you've done enough in this world. So let's see what I've got here. I've got eight so far. Nine. Ooh, not quite enough for uh, another one. So I've got nine diamond blocks with eight diamonds left over. Which isn't too bad going, really, is it? Right, uh, yeah, let's head back and get some more stuff and then we'll see what else we've got. Oh, hang on, down here first, let's just show you. Yeah, melons pumpkins, reeds, wheat, pretty much everything you need. Um, I don't know why there's some books in there. I think I broke some of the books in the bookshelves in the enchanting room um, because I didn't have enough experience to go for the um, the higher levels. Um, so I broke some of the books to try and reduce the level of experience I was getting from the table. So I've got the enchanting room set up. I've not really explored anything about potions. Potions don't really sort of interest me too much. Yeah, that's fairly fairly full of stuff, isn't it? That's definitely full of stuff. Take the obsidian back with me, why not? 
I'm not sure I'm too keen on these new lava sound effects in uh, in the game because it, it makes it a lot easier to tell when there's lava around. I like the idea that it kind of sprung on you without any kind of prior warning. And now that you can see the lava dripping through cobblestone, through the stone, and you can see water dripping through, I mean, it's kind of a nice sort of dinky little effect that, that water drips through, but, you know, it gives you some advance warning that you're going to get rained on and whatever, and uh, that takes away part of the aspect of the game, I think. So, um, yeah, that, not too keen on that addition. Mind you, I said I wasn't too keen on the idea that you didn't have to um, uh, sneak while doing the farming anymore, and um, I've got completely used to that now. So... You know, people just get resistant to change, don't they? And there's a lot changing uh, in the game at the moment. There's, um, let's say, there's version 1.2 is just around the corner, so there's going to be uh, the new uh, iron golem is uh, introduced, and the villagers, and the new artificial intelligence. And there's actually quite a lot of um, above-ground stuff going on, let's say, with the jungles and the cats and everything else. So limiting yourself to an underground world with all this new stuff being introduced into the game is um, not a terribly good idea at the moment so uh, that's another reason why I'm thinking about leaving this world behind and starting a brand new one I'm not sure whether I'll film the new one, whether I'll make another Let's Play I might um, I might do something where I film everything and, and show the whole lot in fast forward I don't know how dizzying that's going to be um, but we'll see. We'll see. I think this whole idea of living underground was a little bit of a gimmick that that that, that hopefully tried to make this let's play stand out from some of the others. Um, whether it does or not, I don't know. But uh, you know, hey ho. Oh, that was clever. Let's throw all my iron on the floor. Let's try and get. Let's see how many more. Um, iron blocks I can make. There's some more ingots there. Right, there's plenty more iron there to be smelted. And plenty of furnaces to smelt it in, so let's uh, start using some of these. Let's see how much of this stuff I've got. Yeah, you don't want to accidentally make sort of 32 chest plates, do you? Not fun. Yeah, let's see what we can do with the gold. Melts. Yeah, let's get all my riches in one place. Let's put the diamond. An awful lot of railway lines when uh, clearing out mine shafts. Didn't really get a chance to use all of those, but.
was good timing. That's uh, enough there for two gold. Two iron blocks. So yeah, 128 and 7 there, that's uh, quite a fair bit of uh, iron blocks. And the obsidian went somewhere else in it. Yeah, there you Put the torches in with the tools. Glass goes in there. Mushrooms goes in with the food. Mossy cobblestone. Oh, oh yeah, that top one there. Stone products. There we go. Quite a fair, quite a bit of mossy cobblestone. They're all empty now. Uh, right, 15. So that's uh, no, it's only enough for another one, isn't it? Okay. Right, so. 130 something iron, 13 gold, 9 diamond blocks. Yeah, not too bad going really. Um, let's see what else I've got. I'll probably repair some of this stuff actually and uh, consolidate it, can't I? Uh, yeah. Let's do a bit of... A bit of tidying up. It's nearly a whole chest full of coal there, not quite a full chest, but uh, yeah, quite a fair amount of stuff that I've been able to gather, quite a bit of nether stuff as well. 23 glowstone blocks, uh, yeah, lots and lots of uh, glowstone dust. Managed to find some clay underneath the river, enough to make some bricks. Didn't really use the bricks very much, I don't think. Didn't use them for anything, but uh, yeah, it's been fun. It has been fun playing this one. It's been posed me a few uh, different challenges which I've not seen in previous uh, encountered in previous games before, but uh, I think I've overcome them. So whether I'll do another one or not, I don't know. But uh, I think for this world, for now, I will bid farewell, and uh, maybe I'll be back on another one. Bye for now.